usually what 400 in a sack an egg sack and they fight for survival they eat each other until, until about the strongest 50 or left and then we separate the 50 out the 50 strongest ones to be our our team <laughs> We kind of inadvertently split into two teams. So the ladies over here, we're doing, um, we're focusing on serotonin. So our main project is to figure out the distribution of serotonin in the brains of these spiders. And then once we kind of have that nailed down, we're going to look for differences between control animals, like animals that are raised under like very, like normal conditions, greenhouse, generally quiet. Um, versus activated animals, which are raised in an incubator that um, kind of shakes a little bit, it's pretty noisy, and there's a really bright light. So we're kind of looking to see if the overstimulation of those spiders affects their brain chemistry, if it changes the distribution of the serotonin in either brightness or different places light up. You can zoom in on it, and you can check to make sure that you see a little blue dot in here in these, and that's how we know that they're the soma, because they're the um, the bodies with the with the nuclei in them. We're pretty much doing um, the same thing, but instead of doing with serotonin, we're doing ours with fMR fMide, um, which has not yet been characterized um, in the brains of the um, spiders. We're also looking at the uh, presence of fMR fMide in uh, the sensory neurons on the, uh, the, the the legs in their patella. Everybody here, you can see a mom with an egg sac there. It's looking a little fuzzier than normal. So we'll probably have 400 more babies soon. <laughs> yeah, and then the next stage is in the, in the bigger jars.